Welcome back to Click Future, where your future is a click away. This is the eighth episode in our Quantum Horizon series, where we explore the fascinating intersections of AI, quantum computing, and space achievements. Throughout history, computing breakthroughs have transformed our world. The first electronic computers, the microprocessor, the internet. Each leap forward has redefined what's possible. In 2019, something unprecedented happened. For the first time, a quantum computer performed a calculation that would be practically impossible for even the most powerful classical supercomputer. This milestone, known as quantum supremacy, marked the moment when quantum computers transcended the capabilities of classical computing. The achievement sparked both celebration and controversy. Was this truly quantum supremacy? What problem did it actually solve? And what does it mean for the future of computing and humanity? As computer scientist Scott Aronson put it, quantum supremacy is a Wright Brothers moment. The first flight lasted only 12 seconds, but it proved that powered flight was possible, launching an aviation revolution. Today, we'll explore quantum computing's first flight and where it might take us. To appreciate the significance of quantum supremacy, we need to understand the decades-long quest to build a quantum computer that could outperform classical computers. The concept of quantum computing was first proposed by physicist Richard Feynman in 1982. He recognized that simulating quantum systems on classical computers was extraordinarily difficult and suggested that computers based on quantum principles might be more efficient. Throughout the 1990s, theorists developed quantum algorithms that could, in principle, solve certain problems exponentially faster than classical computers. Peter Shor's algorithm for factoring large numbers, published in 1994, showed that quantum computers could potentially break widely used encryption systems. But building actual quantum hardware proved enormously challenging. Quantum states are incredibly fragile, requiring extreme cooling and isolation from environmental interference. For decades, quantum computers remained primarily theoretical. By the 2010s, companies like IBM, Google, and startups like Rigetti and D-Wave were making significant progress in building increasingly powerful quantum processors. The race to achieve quantum supremacy to solve a problem beyond the reach of classical computers intensified. In 2019, Google announced a breakthrough. Their 53-qubit Sycamore processor had performed a specific calculation in 200 seconds that would take the world's most powerful supercomputer approximately 10,000 years. Their achievement, published in the prestigious journal Nature, was immediately recognized as a watershed moment in computing history. But it also sparked debate about what quantum supremacy really means. This is a milestone on the path to full-scale quantum computing. It's not a useful quantum computer yet, but it proves that quantum computational advantage is possible in practice, not just theory. So what exactly did Google's quantum computer do? The experiment involved a task specifically designed to showcase quantum advantage, sampling from a pseudo-random quantum circuit. In simpler terms, the quantum computer generated a sequence of numbers with specific quantum-based probabilities that would be extremely difficult for a classical computer to simulate accurately. This might sound underwhelming. After all, the quantum computer didn't solve a practical problem like discovering a new drug or optimizing a financial portfolio. But that wasn't the point. The experiment was designed as a clear demonstration that quantum computers could perform certain tasks beyond classical capabilities. IBM quickly challenged Google's claim, suggesting that with the right optimizations, a classical supercomputer could solve the same problem in 2.5 days, not 10,000 years. This highlighted an important nuance. Quantum supremacy isn't a single clear threshold, but a gradually shifting boundary. The term quantum supremacy is misleading and has led to a great deal of confusion. What's important isn't whether a quantum computer can do something a classical computer cannot, but whether it can solve practical problems more efficiently. Since Google's announcement, other teams have demonstrated their own versions of quantum supremacy. In 2020, a team at the University of Science and Technology of China used photonic quantum computing to solve a specific sampling problem they claimed was 100 trillion times faster than classical approaches. Each of these experiments has faced similar scrutiny and debate. The goalposts for quantum supremacy continue to move as classical algorithms improve and our understanding of the quantum classical boundary evolves. While quantum supremacy experiments are important milestones, the real goal is quantum advantage, 
using quantum computers to solve practical, useful problems more efficiently than classical computers. Several types of problems are particularly well-suited for quantum advantage. These include simulating quantum systems for material science and drug discovery, optimizing complex systems like supply chains or financial portfolios, and certain types of machine learning tasks. In 2020, Google demonstrated a quantum chemistry simulation that accurately modeled the diazine molecule. While this could be done classically, it showed how quantum computers could eventually simulate complex molecules for drug discovery and material science. In 2022, researchers used a quantum computer to solve a complex optimization problem for vehicle routing, finding the most efficient paths for a fleet of vehicles. For small instances, the quantum approach matched classical methods, but showed potential for exponential advantage as problem size increases. Quantum machine learning is another promising area. In 2023, researchers demonstrated a quantum neural network that could recognize patterns in data that were invisible to classical neural networks. This suggests quantum computers might eventually identify subtle patterns in everything from medical images to financial markets. The transition from quantum supremacy to quantum advantage is like moving from proving an airplane can fly to actually using it for transportation. We're now in that crucial phase of finding the first truly practical applications. A key challenge in achieving practical quantum advantage is error correction. Quantum states are fragile and errors accumulate quickly. Significant process has been made in quantum error correction, with several milestones achieved in 2024 that bring fault-tolerant quantum computing closer to reality. As quantum computers move from laboratory curiosities to practical tools, their economic impact could be enormous. By 2035, quantum computing is projected to create value of $450 to $850 billion annually across various industries. Pharmaceuticals, material science, logistics, finance, and energy are among the sectors likely to see the greatest impact. The ability to simulate quantum systems could accelerate drug discovery and materials development. Optimization algorithms could reduce energy consumption and emissions in transportation and manufacturing. Investment in quantum computing has surged, with governments and corporations worldwide committing billions of dollars. The US, China, EU, Japan, and others have launched national quantum initiatives, recognizing quantum computing as a strategic technology. But quantum computing also poses significant security challenges. Shor's algorithm, running on a sufficiently powerful quantum computer, could break the RSA and ECC encryption that secures much of our digital infrastructure. This has spurred the development of post-quantum cryptography, encryption methods that resist quantum attacks. In 2022, the U.S. National Institute of Standards and Technology selected the first set of post-quantum cryptographic standards, and organizations are beginning the complex transition to quantum-resistant security. We're in a race against time. We need to transition our critical infrastructure to quantum-resistant encryption before large-scale quantum computers become available. This is a massive undertaking that will take years. Another challenge is talent. The interdisciplinary nature of quantum computing, spanning physics, computer science, mathematics, and engineering, has created a significant skills gap. Universities and companies are racing to develop quantum computing education programs to meet the growing demand. So where does quantum computing go from here? The roadmap from today's noisy intermediate-scale quantum NISQ devices to fault-tolerant quantum computers is challenging but clear. Current state-of-the-art quantum processors have around 100 to 1,000 physical qubits, but to run the most powerful quantum algorithms with error correction, we'll need millions of physical qubits working together to create reliable logical qubits. Multiple approaches are being pursued. Superconducting qubits, trapped ions, photonic quantum computing, topological qubits, and other technologies each have their advantages and challenges. It's not clear yet which approach or combination of approaches will ultimately prevail. Experts differ on timelines. Optimists suggest we might see fault-tolerant quantum computers solving commercially valuable problems within 5 to 10 years. More conservative estimates put practical quantum advantage for most applications at 15 to 20 years away. In the meantime, hybrid quantum classical approaches are yielding results. These systems use quantum processors for specific subtasks where they excel, while classical computers handle the rest. This pragmatic approach is already showing promise in chemistry, material science, and optimization. 
The question isn't whether quantum computers will transform computing, but when and how. We've proven the concept works. Now, it's about engineering, scaling, and finding the right applications. Perhaps most exciting are the applications we haven't yet imagined. Like classical computers, which were initially conceived for narrow purposes like calculating artillery tables, quantum computers may find their most transformative uses in areas we can't currently predict. Quantum supremacy marked a watershed moment in computing history, proof that quantum computers could transcend classical limitations. But it was just the beginning of a longer journey. As quantum computers continue to advance, they promise to transform industries, accelerate scientific discovery, and potentially solve problems that have long resisted classical approaches, from climate modeling to materials design to drug discovery. The quantum computing revolution won't happen overnight. It will unfold gradually, with incremental advances punctuated by breakthrough moments. But the trajectory is clear. We've entered an era where the fundamental principles of quantum mechanics are being harnessed to create a new paradigm in computation. If you found this exploration of quantum supremacy fascinating, please hit that subscribe button to join us on this journey through the technological frontier shaping our future. And leave a comment below. Which potential application of quantum computing are you most excited about? In our next episode, we'll explore how quantum computing and AI could help unlock the vast resources of our solar system through space mining. Until then, this has been Click Future, where your future is a click away.